Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Sharoon Hanouk. I'll be teaching uh, this course on Introduction to Biostatistics. In this course, we will not only study the application of statistical methods in biomedical research, along with that, we will see that how we can use these statistical methods using the data from biomedical sciences and apply it on a software called SPSS. So I hope we will have a wonderful journey together. Statistics is a field of study that is concerned with collection, organization, summarization, and analyses of the data. It also deals with drawing inferences about the data from a sample. A person who uses statistical methods should have to be well versed with the interpretation and communication of the research, which is a very significant part of a statistical process. Statistics also plays a very vital role in different phases of research, starting from the planning and ending at the policy making. Since uh, in this course, our concern is in biostatistics, therefore, biostatistics is defined as the, the use of statistical tools for the data that is derived from biomedical sciences and medicine. Biostatistical methods were used in older civilizations like in ancient Greece, ancient Rome, India, and China. One of the earliest known demographic study that was conducted by Sir John Grant in 1662, where he developed some life tables to study the spread of bubonic plague in the city of London. He wrote his articles as the natural and political observations as a bills of mortality. Introduction to statistics is not complete without the mention of this lady with the lamp. This is Florence Nightingale, who is one of the earliest known biostatistician. She was the one who created coxcomb charts to figure out the spread of causes of deaths in the region of Turkey during the Crimean War, where a lot of British soldiers were dying due to unknown reasons. And definitely those deaths were the top, the major number of deaths was not due to the war, but it was due to the lot other disease, which were spreading due to unhygienic conditions in the hospitals in the war zone. She was the one who went there and she uh, collected the data and used this data to make an evidence-based decision, which helped the soldiers fighting in the region of Turkey. And not only this, she used that data to convince Queen Victoria to change the policies and make a better policies for, for providing better hygienic conditions to the soldiers fighting in a Crimean war. The second most important figure in statistics is Sir Ronald Elmer Fisher. He was a biostatistician, evolutionary biologist, and a genetist. He developed statistical methodologies to combine Mendelian genetics and natural selection. Sir Ronald Elmer Fisher is famously known as the father of modern statistics. Biostatistics has a lot of application in medical sciences. We can see the use of statistics in public health, pharmacology, epidemiology, medicine, preventive medicine, clinical medicine, genetics, genomics, proteomics, bioinformatics, and there are a lot other fields where people have been using statistical methods. I would like to end with a very famous quote by Florence Nightingale that says, to understand God's thoughts, we must study statistics, for these are the measures of his purpose.